up next on the Sports Hit List. If Philly can somehow figure out Ben Simmons to be a little bit more effective, I like Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons. They're going to be champions. Champions are Shaq and a fool. I don't believe in the Sixers. Moving along with the NBA season, LeBron decided to take his talents somewhere That's else. That's L.A. Braun. Get it right. L.A. Braun so, is on the Lakers, rightfully so, where he needs to be. Just to be irrelevant. And this is, no, not to be irrelevant, for redemption. That's redemption why I wore this what? shirt. Let him redemption. <laughs> Let him go. Redemption he wants, he wants from the veto. Why? Because they owe. They owe everybody. We were supposed to get Chris Paul long time ago. Kobe was supposed to go out with at least seven to eight rings, and that's how it's supposed to go. He's still a GOAT, though. But now we got LeBron, L.A. Braun, that is, the best in the game. One more piece this offseason, and then it's over. Y'all got, si- y'all got six months to get y'all thing together. Good luck. I have nothing to say. Wait, first of all, who's y'all? Who's y'all, y'all, everybody, y'all, whoever okay. y'all consists of. As I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted. LeBron decided to take oh, his it talents. That was horrible. He tried to take his horrible. talents to the Lakers. Now the... He shifted, basically, the, he opened the gates for the Eastern Conference. What do we expect? What's the expectation for the Lakers? You don't have to answer because you just had a two-minute monologue. On I have nothing else thought. to say. Coach. Second round. Second I think, round, I think they, if they got to the second round of the playoffs, I would think it would be a success for this year. Going into next year's free agency where a lot of superstars are going to be available. LeBron is one of the greatest talents this league has ever seen. He's going to attract the best of the best players, and I expect them to be big players in next year's free agency. So if you get to the second round, you improve on Kyle Kuzma, you improve on Lonzo Ball, right, Ray John Ingram. Rondo, Brandon Ingram comes in. Next year, you go get a center, you replace Brooke Lopez, get his contract out of there, Lakers be back in business. Wait, what's, the, you know, wait, what's the expectation for the Lakers? My expectation for them? They're going to be champions. Champions are Shaq and a fool. Yeah, all right. <laughs> they got a bunch of knuckleheads on that team, Watch man. Them, man. Oh, I'm going to go my man Lance is on that team. <laughs> I'm going to go on Lance too. Big Javel shout out to Lance. Yeah. Yo, JaVel, I see you in fashion week. Shaq and a fool champs <laughs> right. right there. I can't yeah. wait for that. I'm going to be tuned in TNT see. every Thursday. Ready. <laughs> all right, so now we also have Kawhi Leonard. Now, in the Eastern Conference, Kawhi Leonard is in, was with Toronto. You have Kyrie Irving and Gordon Hayward coming back healthy for the Boston Celtics. You still have Philadelphia, the Wizards. They're, they're, there's a lot there. LeBron leaving really left a big question mark as who's going to win the East. Thoughts? Andrew. My thoughts on the East is that they're irrelevant, but wow. who's but going I, to now come out the East to lose to the Western Conference champions will probably, I'll say Toronto. Okay. I believe I believe with Kawhi, they they have the best shot at most likely being the Celtics. I don't believe in the Sixers, so I see Kawhi. And you don't believe in the Celtics clearly because you're biased, but not because I'm biased, but y'all just suck. But yeah. Okay, Coach. Trash. Uh, <laughs> excuse me. Uh, obviously, it's the Celtics region. It's the Celtics conference to win. The Celtics returned the best coach. The Celtics returned the best nucleus. The Celtics returned the best offense and the best defense in the league. Toronto, they haven't got a, they haven't shown me anything in the past few years, so I got to go with the Celtics. But my wild card, Philly. If Philly can somehow figure out Ben Simmons to be a little bit more effective, I like Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons. You know what? I was going to pick the Sixers, but just to be controversial, I'm going to go with the Celtics. I thought you were going to say Knicks. Right? <laughs> Absolutely. Nah, that's more Absolutely. than controversial. It's, it's, it's I mean, like, like he said, we got the best coach in the East. They stack from start to finish right there. One through five. The bench is crazy. But you never know what might happen. Kyrie, when is, is he going to stay healthy? They don't need him to stay healthy. That's the crazy thing about, about the Celtics. That's how deep they are. The finals they don't last need year Kyrie. They still, they still, exactly, but you still need that guy to get you over that. Over but when LeBron right gone, though. they don't need that guy anymore. LeBron left and left that vacancy for Boston to really take over. They don't need that guy. See, you needed it when you had the, the shadow and the ghost of LeBron James. See, now he's not there anymore. I don't need to say anything. You guys basically just made an <laughs> argument. My last point is I've been seeing that people say the addition of Boogie Cousins to the Warriors makes the NBA less competitive. Uh, we've seen the Warriors win two out of three championships, and people are saying, well, you know what? The NBA is not as competitive anymore. There's no point in watching it. What's the point? We know the Warriors are going to win. 
I totally disagree. I felt like the NBA is built on dynasty. It's always been about teams winning multiple championships. What's the difference between what the Warriors are doing now? What do you guys think? Quick. I, th I don't see a difference. It's the same old, same old. You get who you get. Everybody's trying to get better, as you should. That's the business. It's not about, uh, okay, I have too much. Let me give you a little bit of this. No. It's about getting the It's an arms race. It's about getting the biggest guns you can, going out there and see who wins the game. Here's the biggest difference for me. It's 2018 social media. Everybody's talking about it. Yeah. Before, you would not know these moves until they were actually made and the contracts were signed. Now we know about these moves three months, two months in advance. We're seeing the live tweets. That's the only difference. We're following up with these guys in real time, and that's what makes people a little angry. Yeah. Let's be real. They have made the season somewhat irrelevant. You got five All-Stars in your starting five right there. We all know it's inevitable that they're going to win. Y'all said that last they're year. They're going to win. What happened? So why, why, why tune in? They were injury. We know they're going to Would you believe win. that they were the one in 2013? I mean, not 23. I'm sorry. 20, 2016. Did you believe that they were going to win the year they won 73 games? Did yes. You? And they lost. And what happened? All right then. Okay. So, so <laughs> last year like, they were they were an injury right? away that from losing. That, that, that wasn't the same team. They it wasn't. Was, they won seventy three games. Five All Stars on the court. They won seventy three games. Five All Stars in their prime. In their prime. In their prime. Seventy three wins. Five All Stars in their prime. Weren't they predicted to win that year? Seventy three wins. They definitely were. And they lost. So what do we say? Still, they did not have five All Stars in the game. In their prime. Anything is possible. You still have to play the game. Who are you going? Anything is possible. How are you stopping them? Anything is possible. They are, I'm not scared. Them? How about that? I want to know how you stop them. Because you're not going to beat them. They're not do playing it. them. Watch. We're going to see them in the finals okay. this year. Okay, guys. Well, Knicks, <laughs> baby. We back, baby. Knicks. Oh, God. <laughs> Y'all doing the sports hit list. Please like us. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. <laughs> we back. We'll see you guys later. YouTube Big also. Big B's, Triple wow. B's. Poor Zingas, baby. Knicks. <laughs>